how's it going? I hope you're well. Today I am filming an old school, I'm like kicking it back, old old school YouTube video. One of my first ever videos I think I ever did on my channel are what's in my bag. Now my bag has been the same for probably I'm gonna go for five years. I really need a new handbag but I just can't seem to part with this one. You guys will have seen this everywhere a few years ago. This used to be like a really cool bag to have and now it's just like Emma get a new bag. But anyway this is the Zara City bag, I believe. Um, I'll link it down below if it's still available. But I absolutely love this bag. Because as you can see, it's like a medium to large size bag with a long and a short strap. Gold hardware. And my favourite part about this bag is the inner lining is like a deep kind of oxblood colour, which I just think is beautiful. One of the main reasons that I love this bag is because it also doubles as a laptop case. So it's got, it comes with these two side zips. One of them actually has places for like your cords and stuff like that. So it's a padded laptop case. Then there's just another one for any other books that you may need. Um, a middle compartment for safekeeping and then like the two side bits. So this used to be my school bag because I could take my books to school, I could take my laptop to school, fit all of it in and it also looked really nice. It's why it's a little bit misshapen because it's been well loved over the years. So I'm going to show you guys what is in my bag because I am voyeuristic and like to watch these videos. I don't currently have anything in either of the side pockets because my laptop is next to me and I don't need to take like textbooks with me anywhere anymore. I am going to start here on this side where it has the little pockets in the side where you can put you know stuff you need. Okay so the first thing I'm going to show you is the perfume that I've been carrying around in my bag and this is in a gorgeous little travel spritzer um, and this is actually from a brand named Scentbird. Now I am collaborating with Scentbird in this video. I've collaborated with them before, they've sponsored my videos before because I absolutely love Scentbird. I think it's a brilliant concept and I'm going to tell you what that concept is. So the whole kind of concept of Scentbird is that it's a monthly subscription and you pay $14.95 every month to get a basically a rollable size perfume monthly. So that could be Dolce & Gabbana, that could be Alien by Thierry Mugler, that could be any perfume that they have on their website and they have hundreds of different perfumes that you can choose from. So each vial has 8 millilitres of product in which again is like the same as a rollable. They sent me the green khaki one which I just love this. I think this looks so nice. So this won't leak or spill because it's closed, but all you need to do is twist it open like that and then spritz it. And then once it's been twisted open, you can just pull out the vial and you can change whichever vial you've got and use it for the day. So at the moment, the fragrance I have in here is the Moline and Goetz Dark Rum Perfume, which was actually selected for me by the Scentbird team. So Basically you can fill in your preferences, the perfumes that you like already and you choose basically the fragrance you receive. So your first month you get a white scentbird case and then you can actually buy the fun coloured ones for your handbag and so you have multiples so you can take different perfumes around with you. And then if you really fall in love with one of the perfumes then you can actually buy it from scentbird and you get $15 off. So. Basically it's like a free trial for any perfume you want. So I think it's a really great way to try new fragrances and it's half the price of a regular rollable so you aren't committing so much if you don't end up liking it even though you choose them yourself so the chances are you probably will. So I have dark rum in at the moment and it's beautiful and I like to carry this around with me. Um, I always like to have at least one perfume in my handbag because I like to smell nice. Then in the next little compartment next to it I have my vlog camera. This is the Canon S120 and I won't lie, it's average, like I really want to invest in a new vlog camera. I'd love the G7X Mark II, obviously that's like £600 so... <laughs> It's an investment, which I'm not ready to make yet. I feel like if I start doing more and more weekly vlogs, I'm going to want to invest in the quality of the videos. So eventually I will, but at the moment I'm perfectly content with my bog standard 
whatever this is, S120. <laughs> Again, in that little side compartment, I have a little hand sanitizer. This is a pocket back. It's a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, and this is in the scent. Mad about you, it said it right on the front. It's kind of just like a light floral smell, which isn't my normal style, but this was actually a gift, and I've been going on tubes a lot recently, and they are filthy. <laughs> then to the next pocket, I currently have two half open packets of gum. <laughs> I don't know why. My preference is spearmint. This is the extra spearmint gum. I also have a little um, memory, what's it called? What's this called? A memory stick? Is that what that's called? Yeah, it is. I haven't said the word memory stick in a really long time. And I don't know what's on this and why I have it, but a mystery memory stick. I'm now going to delve into the kind of main part of the bag. So the first thing I see are my keys. As you can see, I've got quite the uh, collection. So I've got my car key. I have a Fiat Punto. His name is Stig. I've got a little Stig key ring named after my car. I have my Sally's card, this cute little strawberry that I think my mum made, a little fish that one of my best friends gave me, a nail file, because my nails break every day. I have a Brands Hatch key ring. If you know what Brands Hatch is, you're very cool, but it's basically a, a circuit, a race track. Mr. Marvin the Manatee, who has now featured in many videos. So if you're an old school subscriber, you'll know about Marvin, but basically Marvin looks like a manatee when you flip him that way around, but then, looks like the old pervert from Family Guy with a boner when you flip him over. I love Marvin. The next thing I have in here is a little Ardell plastic case with some wispies in them. I have got some headphones for my music, a pen, 2p, and then I have my wallet. Uh, I really need a new wallet. I've had this wallet for years. Um, I nearly bought the Michael Kors wallet in the sale the other day and then I stopped myself and to be honest I wish I hadn't stopped myself because this looks scabby, it's like falling apart. It's actually looking quite organised at the moment for me. And here I have £20 worth of iTunes vouchers that I don't think I'm going to use. I've got multiple train tickets, my Costa card that has a shocking amount of money on this, my driving licence, a Boots gift card, my Boots Advantage card, my House of Fraser card, a New Look card, train ticket, my super drug card, my bank card, change. I have about £200 worth of love to shop vouchers because at my old job they used to reward us with love to shop vouchers. Obviously because I was like the best fucking employee ever I always got loads of love to shop vouchers. Then I've got all of my petrol receipts because I like to keep them together um, for the end of the month. Quite an organised purse at the moment. I cleared it out a couple weeks ago though, so it wasn't like this before. I then have my phone. This is the iPhone 7 Plus. Is that what it is? Yes, the iPhone 7 Plus. My background is me and Mr. Tim at the moment. My phone case is like my favourite thing in the entire world. It got an entire Instagram dedicated to it, but this is from Society6 and I just think it's gorgeous. Like. It just fits my aesthetic perfectly. <laughs> okay, that's everything on that side. We are, we're now moving on to the other side. And the first thing is this little Tarte makeup bag. And this is kind of like my emergency pack of things that I will probably need throughout the day. First thing I see, pads. Migraine relief tablets because unfortunately I am a migraine sufferer. So I need to have them on me just in case. Paracetamol in case it's just a headache. A plaster because I'm clumsy. Deodorant because I'm sweaty. A powder because I'm shiny. <laughs> this is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot powder and a little Spectrum blush brush, but I just use this to blot my face. I have a little hand food hand cream from Soap and Glory. Again, this is a really nice hand cream. I actually have, this wasn't planned, this looks terrible, but I actually have my scent bird from the last video collaboration I did with them. Um, this is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And then I have a few makeup bits. I've got a concealer. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue anti Anti fatigue concealer. I have a really old Maybelline mascara that probably should be thrown out. I have a nipple balm. This is Dr. Lips. A rip. Dr. Lips. 
Original Nipple Balm for Lips. This is a really nice lip balm. Two of these little Tarte Sheer Lipstick Balm things um, in the shades Rose and Berry. I really like these um, to give you just like a really sheer wash of colour. I also have my favourite liquid lipstick. This is Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. The perfect nude. And my favourite lip gloss of all time. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. I always have to have this on me because it's amazing. So that's my little emergency supply kit. Next thing I have in my bag is the book I'm currently reading, which will shock a lot of you because I'm not a huge reader. My sister recommended The Heart Goes Last by Margaret Atwood. Um, she says it's brilliant and that I would find it really interesting. So far I'm about 100 pages in and she was right, I am actually finding this really interesting. I love anything dystopic. I studied a lot of dystopic writing in theatre studies and English at school and I always found it really interesting so yeah this is actually I'm enjoying it so far what I've gathered is it's a dystopic future where there's no money um, and basically it's like fight for your life steal what you can you keep what you can prostitution is huge at the moment and like everyone's just trying to make ends meet kind of is a bit like 1984 esque in that the the bigger people um, who seem to just be superior to everybody else have created this um, this place, this program where half your life you live as a prisoner in a jail and the other half you work and live a normal life. Interesting concept and I love stuff like this. I've been having a lot of long train journeys recently so I've been reading a lot of this. Okay, this next thing I have is my daily journal which I love. I love to write lists so I basically just use this to list what I need to do every day and so I can tick it off. You guys have seen my daily journal so many times so yeah my daily journal is always in my bag. I've got a This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I have loads of these but I like to take them basically everywhere because I do not sleep well um, so I like to have this if I go and stay at someone's house just in case. I have some socks I don't know why they're in there. I have like mini wall hooks and some rope I think it was for mounting something on a wall but I don't know what it was. I have an Urban Outfitters tag and I have my card reader from the bank and that is everything that I carry around with me. So that is my what's in my bag. I thought I would do it very old school just literally showing you what's in my bag. Nothing fancy but I love these videos. I will link everything you need to know and more information etc about Scentbird down below my voice down below i hope you have the best day ever i will see you guys really soon lots of love goodbye <laughs>